Hello, long time no talk in a classroom vlog. It has been over a year, over a year. And here I am, fifth grade in my dream school. Here's my classroom, it's a very light overview. Today was my first day of school and it was a lot of fun and it was actually very chill. The most chill it has ever been, I will say because honestly my kids are just so like good and respectful and like just so nice so i'm going to be filming all week this week just showing you what we're doing inside the classroom and my plan is every time we do something that i think is very helpful every time we do something like a lesson that i think can be reused over and over that's what i like i like having like a skeleton type of lesson and redoing it over and over and over with different subjects which i'm going to show later on the week with my donut main idea lesson because we're going to be doing that with two different pieces of text anywho i am going to just show you what we did today it's actually after school and i had a really great day it was very relaxed very chill and i do this every single year i always line up for lunch super early I lined up for lunch 20 minutes early today on accident and I'm like, how come no one else is leaving? I'm like, oops, okay. This was our schedule today. For morning work, we just did name tags. For reading, we did a birthday lineup where I had the kids collaborate and figure out where their birthday was from January to December. I released them by months, like in different order for them to figure it out. And then I went through and we set our birthdays. We went over classroom jobs. Let me show you. Here are our classroom jobs. I have had this since my first year of teaching for five years. I made this five years ago. I really like it. Let me know if you want it at my TPT store. I talked about each job with the kids and then the kids filled out this job application form. And this form allowed me to see what kind of writing um, that they're, you know, their handwriting, their complete sentences, their reasoning, because they're telling me why they would be good at a certain job that they're interested in. So I'm gonna look at these in the morning. We did our daily five review for math and it's just like problems on the board. And what I did was I really focused on our um, warm up routine. So in the back of the classroom, I have all the students' math supplies and the captain that I labeled as captain, you can see the C here, this was for the person to, you know, their captain. So they're going to come back and they're going to grab the math bin for their table group. And I taught them how I like to run math review. So my lovely husband's here to assist me because my husband works here at my school. Um, fun fact, he's a long-term sub. So what I had them do is we practiced our chant today. So this is our chant for movie time. And movie time just means that they are looking straight at me, like I am a movie, they're listening, they're not doing anything else, hands are empty, all of that good stuff. So this was our chant. I go, one, two, three, movie time. And they go, okay. That's all I could think of. So at our school, we're going to be going to the Ron Clark Academy and that's not happening, I think, until January for me. So I know when I come back, I'll learn a lot more chants like better chants it's all about movement and chanting and saying so that was it for right now so then they sit we practice sitting in our chairs for movie time i put the problem on the board part of the daily five and then i set a timer for one actually i did two minutes just because you know it's first day they worked on their boards and then we worked on showing me and um, then I corrected it. They corrected themselves on the board and we moved through that. I want to take warm up to be like 10 minutes. Warm up, bam, and then we'll go into songs. Fifth grade's the oldest grade for our kids and I want to make sure that they're ready for middle school. So what I like to have are these checklists. This is where I put the um, checklist right here and we wrote down our name tag because the students will be working on their name tag until Friday and then it will be due. I'm going to check it to make sure they got it done. And this is something that they get handed out every single month that they keep track of, of all their assignments or it gets brought home for homework. And we talked about it. I think they got it. They're so, they're so good. Like they're really good. They work so nicely. I let them talk and color their name tags. It was a lot of fun. And then the specialists in our school had them for like a longer prep than usual, but that was pretty much our day. It was really relaxing, really chill. Tomorrow we're going to be doing this worksheet in the morning. My teammate gave me this and we'll talk about tomorrow, what we're doing tomorrow. But yeah, it was a really good first day. I'm excited to be back. I will say 
imposter syndrome has hit me hard not going to lie like not being in the classroom for five no for three years two years like i haven't taught fifth grade really had a normal first day of school in three years because last year i was in star the year before that was covid so two years i guess so yeah i feel a little rusty i feel like i'm second doubting myself a lot but yeah whatever just be grounded and move on and you know do the best that you can and that's that so that was my first day of school we're gonna continue on for the rest of the week and i hope you get some good information out of this vlog and something that can help you in your classroom so i will see you tomorrow hello happy tuesday um it's the second day of school and today again was extremely chill i can't even say it enough so i'll just talk about more about what we did today in class so the first thing we did was i bought these folder covers from tpt they're really cute um i gave the students them in the morning and they had all day to finish and color it and this went on their checklist because like i told them their checklist is due on fridays if they want to have fun friday and what i'm going to be doing is on fridays i'm going going to have a quick one-on-one um, -on -one conference with each student, see how they did during the week with their completed work, fill out their behavior slips, and send them on their way. So I'll show you that as well once the time comes. But let's look at our schedule. So then we did a growth mindset activity, and I will link the activity that I did down below. I bought it on TPT. I just followed the growth mindset for day one. We did our daily five and our songs for math. Let me show you the songs. This is the song for factor. So I say factor, factor, what's a factor? And then my class yells, a factor are the two numbers that you multiply. I think that's what it is. Don't quote me, I'm just learning this too. And then the next definition is a product. So I go product, product, what's a product? A product is the, the product is the answer in the multiplication question. The answer so like two equal signs a lot of body movement um, and then the other one is the, our multiplication wrap which I don't know by heart yet I will get back to you on that one because um, my monitor is off so keep watching the vlog if you're interested I'll say it again on Thursday and then we had our rocket math so we do ma rocket math mandatory um we did our chromebook routine it was a little slow it took some time it's so nice because my students are just so responsible and like so calm that i don't have to like stress as much if i'm being honest like i'm not used to that it's really some major adjusting like when i'm working on you know i was helping students retrieve their um, emails because they forgot them over the summer then I, you know, just had other students helping other students log in and all that fun stuff. So it was good. Um, it's really chill, honestly. Like, it's really, really nice. And then we did our donut writing because we are practicing our main idea in supporting details. And I know for sure that you have seen this before because I've talked about it before. But here's our donut um, cut and paste graphic organizer. And here is our little page that it comes with i made a whole video about how to teach this i'll leave it down below um we're gonna finish this tomorrow today we only read through it talked about the main idea and i had them circle any unknown words and i taught them my routine for reading out loud which is i they follow along i read when i pause they read whole group and then sometimes i pull sticks and then the person with the stick has to say you know out loud what word i stopped at so that's what we did. And then we had specials and that's it. So I did record a math lesson. I keep telling you about my math experiment. So I don't wanna share too much. I wanna see how it goes. I'm trying it out on Thursday. Wish me luck because I hope this is a good idea. I think it is, I'm telling you right now. Um, being out of the classroom, you know, I was doing special ed and then COVID for the past two years. Like I haven't taught a solid, you know, fifth grade year um, in person. I do have some self sabotageness going on. Like I'm really doubting my genius, which is really odd. 
but it's okay it shows me that i'm growing and i'm able to identify it instead of like getting sucked into it so it's pretty interesting but that's what i'm doing so tonight i'm going to upload that video i made for place value and make the little exit ticket and call it a night i have a meeting tonight with um one of my pre people that i work with i contract with for high vibe teaching and then that's pretty much it all right i will see you tomorrow welcome back to my classroom it's wednesday august 10th so today was an, a different type of day but i do have some really fun things to share because a lot of awesome things turned out really awesome so first of all we are getting a new fifth grade teacher which i'm so excited for um, and I will say if you're in Nevada or plan to be in Nevada or whatever, definitely like keep your ears open because our school is growing massively. And if you like what you see on Instagram and our vibe of our school and all that stuff, then I definitely say, you know, think about applying because we could potentially need more fifth and fourth grade teachers because now that we have a fifth grade teacher, I'm at 35 kids. Um, we're going to drop down to like 26, 27, which is great. But they're building so many houses around this school. More houses, more kids, all that stuff. Today, I wore my positivity shirt because I'm in the house of positivity. And it was really fun. I'll just talk about our day. So here's our little schedule. We, we didn't do the bookmark for AR, but we just did unfinished work. We did a growth mindset project, which is what it, which is what I recorded earlier. I know I didn't give a classroom tour or anything, but I'm going to do one next year just because I think we're going to change hallways, honestly. And I feel like I'm going to have to redo everything. So my class is pretty simple, but I like it. So here's all the posters we did. Um, I separated groups of six different kids, if that makes sense. Not with their table groups. I want them all to be acclimated with each other and to like hang out and work with each other no matter their table group. So I hung up their little posters up here, which I love. It was Their task was to differentiate growth mindset, fixed mindset, and to write their own little phrases. And let me show you. This group literally wrote high vibe they wrote high vibe high vibe with a growing flower for the growth mindset that's what it's all about also my amazing husband who's right there he's an aide here i think i already said that um, he's building my new stand-up desk so i'm gonna be getting rid of this desk this one rolls around i believe and i'm able to move it everywhere around the room I can't wait to use this. And yes, the school bought this for me. I did not buy this. The school bought it for me. So I want to show you something that just rocked my world today. And I'm really excited that I got to do it. So I think it was like two years ago. This was um, pre-COVID or like right when COVID was happening. I was doing a lot of partner work, like partner discussion in my fifth grade classroom. This was like three, two years ago. And I made these little desk labels i drew these by hand made these little desk labels but i thought of a better way to use them so what i did was i cut out all of them i put them in this bucket i put it down like face down and i had each student grab one and this is what group they're in so i had the donuts meat at a table the cookies the peanut butter the macaroni um the cheese lol the milk there's a couple different ones too so um they all went to their different locations and they all um worked on their posters so that's how i grouped them it was really fun and easy i i i love this idea like this was a great idea and if you want it it's in my tpt store i love it so much let's see if there's another one oh little cereal cereal group i laminated them as well so it's durable but yeah i want a little coffee super super fun so then we did our daily five and our math songs um and then i created a lunch table chart seating chart which they did a fabulous job of talked about you know if someone seems like they don't have anywhere to sit like ask them to sit with you i created that we did rocket math pe and our house activity this afternoon so that was our day and now the day's over. So I'm about to go home and 
plan a little bit for next week but tomorrow i am doing the math lesson that i'm eager to try out so we're gonna see how it goes and i'm gonna make sure that we will get it done in time i want that whole math block to us and working so we'll see how it goes i will see you tomorrow happy thursday it's thursday the day's over um i will say this is the first school year where the days just fly and i'm having a lot of fun and i'm enjoying what we're doing in here it is a very good time i'm just feeling a little tired it's really hard to adjust back to school time and especially when i'm getting used to look at my words i'm getting reacclimated acclimated reacclimated oh look you can see jake right there i'm getting reacclimated to <laughs> working um in person like in fifth grade full time you know last year i was in special ed with behavior and then the year before that i was um it was covid so it's been a while um i'm getting adjusted and being acclimated and we're having a good time we're having a good time my kids are really good like today we let's talk about what we did today so first i just gave them like um a following direction sheet to do in the morning and I will say I have to remind them, I need to remind them, you know, read directions, you know, thoroughly read directions, ask three before me kind of gig kind of thing. Then we did a germ donut writing. This is what we did. I think I mentioned this in the beginning of the vlog, but this is on my TPT. I love doing this. This is finding the main idea and supporting details in the text. And I'm telling you, my kids are just really, really, really like good and they're really good at following directions and i'm noticing they need a lot less hand holding than what i'm used to so we went through a couple sentences i have a video too on how i teach this main idea supporting details i'll link it down below we highlighted the text and you know pulled those details talked about what are supporting details all that fun stuff and then once we got halfway to it i did partner work again so i did this again had them pull cards again and they went into different partner works and they worked as a partner and then i pulled sticks to check their answer and then after they were done with partners they colored it we added it to their checklist and it is all due tomorrow today was the first day i did my math lesson um for what i want to do with math it was a little bit of a hot mess because not everyone has Chromebooks that are working because their passwords are like, la you know, they're lagging because they're new to the school. And then um, I didn't realize I didn't have enough math book. And I didn't realize that, you know, some kids didn't have headphones either. You know, I'm just in the vibe of going with the flow, seeing what I need when it happens, all that stuff. It did take a little bit longer. I only got to check half of my kids' work. So we're going to finish it up tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is literally just going to be catch up friday all morning long they're gonna have time to catch up on all their work that's due i'm gonna send home the behavior report i will show you tomorrow and that's my plan for tomorrow catch up friday once i figure out if i like my math and if i like the way i'm doing it and if i think it's beneficial um then i will share it with you on what i'm doing how i'm doing it I did enjoy not having to teach the math just because I recorded it and the kids had ac had access to it. That's what they watched instead of watching just me talk in front of the class. Like, especially on a day, on a day like today, like I feel medium vibe. I don't feel super high vibe. So me being able to check their work instead of teaching and then checking their work, it just works out so much better. So tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's going to be a good day. I mean, every day's been a good day. I'm just getting used to everything. So right on. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, it's Friday. The day is done. The week is done. And now I can chill, I guess. I'm going to California this weekend um, for like a family thing. So... I get to see my parents and my brother and my friends. Actually, I'm seeing my best friend as well and my brother's girlfriend, who's my very good friend. So I'm gonna be surrounded by a lot of love this weekend, which I'm very excited for. Um, it is kind of a bummer that it's the first weekend of back to school, but guess what? I decided to make this year the year that it doesn't matter. Like, I'm not stressed out. I decided to make this year a different year for me. 
um, especially being back in fifth grade. And today was a really great day. So I'll just talk to you about what we did. So like on Monday, I showed you that they had this checklist that I made them just to help them stay organized with their stuff. And it worked out great. They brought it up to me at the last hour of school before we did houses or specials. And I checked off their work. Good go gravy, awesome. You know, I got it all done. Like I have 35 kids. I wrote the behavior reports. I sent them home. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, I send this home to parents every week. And yeah, I know it's paper and I know like we're probably getting away from the paper, but there's just something about paper that I personally appreciate just because I can see it, I can remember it. I like that it's paper as well because I just put it in their cubes. Like maybe I'll change my mind in the upcoming years and keep it 100% digital, but I like to have a mix of both because you know, I don't know, maybe not all parents like the digital and maybe the paper's easier for them. So it's easier for me right now. I'm only in my fifth year teaching and I've used this actually every single year and I really like it. And um, for this, you can get it at my TPT store. I'll link it down below, but yeah, it was a good week. <sighs> now I will be a little bit honest here because I'm always going to be honest with you forever and always. I will never put on a fake facade of anything ever, even if it's less than appealing or whatever, I don't know. But going into this school year, I feel the most in alignment I've ever felt. I feel the best I've ever felt in terms of like not feeling stressed out because like, I don't know how to explain it. I feel very calm, but I will say I experienced a lot of imposter syndrome this week and I'm grateful that I caught it. I'm grateful that I was, I'm aware and that's how you change and morph it and transmute it. I realized even on the first day of school, as I was putting on my first day of school outfit, doing my hair, looking at my makeup, I felt like an imposter. I'm like, am I supposed to be here? Am I good enough? Is this like, am I doing things right? Like, am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Doing what I'm supposed to be doing as in like, am I making the right choices with my lessons? Am I making the right choices with how I even give instruction? Like. Everything that I have been confident in, in my teaching ability up to this point, I was questioning. And even going as deep as like, do my coworkers think I'm a weirdo? Or like, do my coworkers think I'm weird? Or <laughs> weirdo weird? Or, you know, do my coworkers think this, this and that? Or uh, I could go on and on. And I even am realizing it with this new math style that I'm trying. It's so crazy because I'm literally just trying it out. I'm seeing what it's like. I'm getting parent feedback on it and we're gonna, I wanna see how it goes. You know what I mean? And I'm having a lot of imposter syndrome around it. Even though my husband's like, that is a great idea. My best friend, Margaret, she said it's a great idea as well. I feel like it's a great idea. I'm really bringing parents into the mix and I will share it. I think I'm gonna run it at least for chapter one. And if I like it and parents like it, I will continue going into probably January, seeing how my students do on their assessments and adjusting. I just want to try it because I want to bring the classroom into the home. And that is just to support the child at home as well. I only have them what we do math for two hours a day. Like they, you know what I mean? So we're gonna see how it goes. But I will say I had a lot of imposter syndrome this week. And it was something that basically what I'm trying to say is, first of all, so grateful I'm here, obviously, duh. And it's so funny because hindsight, looking from your higher self, I know I'm here because I am supposed to be here. But then sometimes little Brie, little you gets in the way, little you nugs on or you know, is talking in your ear. That's your ego. That's the small you. The big you, the higher self of you, your high vibe self of you knows exactly what it's doing, knows exactly why you're in the situations that you're in. And you're always learning, always growing, always evolving. And even though I experienced a lot of imposter syndrome this first week, maybe even now, a little bit, I'm giving myself grace, I'm, a, I'm aware of it, and I'm working and moving and healing through it. If you made it this far in the vlog, thank you so much. I definitely am going to be vlogging a lot more, especially because next week we're going to be doing a social contract 
because we definitely need one in here. The kids are not bad, do not get me wrong, but they do need some boundary, like they need some structure. So that's what we're gonna be doing. A lot in the feels, we're gonna be doing a lot of partner work, it's gonna be fun. So we might do like an adjective hunt. I'm gonna create it this whole weekend, I'm chilling, taking off. I'm going to be um, working Sunday on some lesson plans, but we're testing next week anyways. Follow me on Instagram because I give more of a play-by-play -play on my life. Let me know if you need anything, want anything, what do you want to see next, but it was a really great first week. I'm grateful to be here. I know no matter what level of life you you are in, if you're just starting with your soul evolution or like finding yourself and finding who you truly are and expressing that into the world unapologetically in your light, then you are forever going to grow and evolve and that includes healing, getting past the crap that's holding you back, really being aware of what you're doing and why you're doing it and living in your personal essence, your personal high vibe essence. And I'm just really grateful to be here. I really enjoy where I work and just thank you for being on this ride. I think I've recorded every single first week of school, um, first day of school. So it's really fun to look back to, so. Thank you, have a great school year. I will catch you in my next video. Peace.